All right, so now this hive is, uh, this mating nuke is now queenless. So I'm going to take that box and I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to move it right on top of this hive. And I'm going to separate it, separate them with a piece of newspaper. And then I'm going to completely block the, the new hive off so that they can't, the only way to get out of the hive, the top, say, say this is the new hive, say this box is, is where the new box is going to go, which is those guys. Um, the piece of newspaper will be right here. This will be completely blocked so they can't get out of this hive unless they go down. And so what will happen is they'll gradually chew through this newspaper and over two or three days as they slowly, you know, break through the newspaper, their scent will mingle with the scent of this other colony, which is a foreign colony, completely different colony, different queen, different smell, different everything. It'll, they'll take them, it'll, they'll just get a, a, a small whiff of the, each other and then by the time they've opened up the, the hole in the newspaper so that they can all just sort of come through freely, their, their scent will have mixed together so that they'll create almost like one new scent and they'll all know each other and they won't be a big fight to the death type of thing because that's what happens because if you just toss them in all together they'll just, they're just going to fight and kill each other. So I go shoosh, give them a little spray, it's like smoke, not quite. I will take a piece of newspaper, the crossword section, and I will fit it right over the hive, this deep. <clears throat> so this is right over the bees. There's all those bees living down there having a good time. And I'm going to pick these, this hive up and plonk it right down, right on top of this. Put it on this, and then slide it so it's in perfect position. There we go. Done. What we got going on now, you can see here, there's the newspaper between the two deeps. This deep is completely sealed in. The bees that are living in here cannot get out. So it's completely right on top of the other hive. The other hive box anyway, it's a small hive. So in order for this, these bees to get out, they need to chew through this newspaper and over the two or three days it takes them to chew out through that newspaper. It'll, it'll open up the, the hole like I explained and the bees in this hive will get used to the bees in this hive, the smell of them, so that when they do come down they won't fight each other to the death. So that's it. I, so I just took their queen away. They're queenless um, and they're completely stuck inside this box. They'll start chewing through this and by, by tomorrow morning they, they should actually start chewing through that paper. And. Uh, and hopefully, in three days, it'll be one big hive with, with twice as many bees in it. Well, it's time to check out this hive. This is the one... <clears throat> oh, look at that, they're, they're scenting a bit there. It's getting hot in there. So you can see here the, um, this fuzzy stuff. That's the uh, newspaper that they've chewed out. And let me just see if I can get... Uh, Show you that. Dee, 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 dee. There we go. So that's chewed up newspaper. So that means they've they've chewed through the newspaper that was separating the two colonies. This was the queenless colony. This was the the queened one or queen right colony. Now they're living together in harmony. Let's take a look. See if that's true. I I, I moved this, the frames aside and you can see they've totally torn it down into that newspaper through that newspaper and the bees are mingling so no dead bees anywhere if, they, if these bees uh, weren't getting along they would just uh, there'd be dead bees all over the place so now I'm gonna just try to reduce them down to a single deep or whatever we'll see what I got here Queen who has been laying eggs looking good 